Wait a minute, let's explain a few things. It's still us, Mimi and Barrett. We got a new pad this spring, kind of a project to say the least. Day one, that's where we slept last night, our familiar home. We've been here a few months now and have named this little spot Camp. <laughs> Our plan is to renovate over time, doing 90% of the work ourselves and thought we'd share a little bit of it with you. Mostly because it's fun to see the evolution. So you may see some camp videos intermingled now and then with our future moto and sailboat adventures. These videos are not intended to be any kind of how-tos, as you can pretty much find all of that on other channels. But what you will see, inserted between the water and the dirt, is progress. That's what we're aiming for. This project will be slow and over our lifetime. We're about four hours into day one. I've been spraying, I have three rooms down already. Scraping the popcorn ceiling. Made a giant mess. Day one's work is almost done. Spent all day scraping ceilings, got the entire house scraped. Barrett got some good sanding done on the walls. It's been a long day. Barrett started just some of the surrounding dead brush, so we've got some of, some of the weeds being pulled. Starting on just about everything. Jade plant's gonna go. It's pretty much all going. Our first goal was to get as much gutted and cleaned out before we moved in. Then we would transition to doing some much needed brush clearing for fire defense. And then back to the inside. Are you okay? Yeah, admiring it. <laughs> I think a pool might be nice here. Yeah, I think you could just get the bottom ones. I think so too. I like what you're doing with the place. We're trying to find some time to enjoy, enjoy a minute. There's lots that needs to be cleared out. It's definitely drying up. Like all of that along the path is drying up. Yeah. So we're, we're making little trails and this is a nice little cool nook. When we first got the place, it was mid-April. Rain had just ended for the season and the vegetation was pretty lush. You will see the transition to a drier desert terrain over time. We've been walking this trail for a few days now, trying to clear out some of the weeds, knock some of this down, so kind of purposefully walking over it, knock it down, kill it. 
How's that poison oak treating you? I am fine. I don't have poison oak. Yes, you do. You have poison oak all over you. <laughs> Taking a break. It's a little hot in East County. So we're taking a break, we're in Mission Bay. We got, but we both have poison oak. So salt water is doing wonders on the poison oak treatment. Got it all over my belly, all over my back. Big spot on my leg, Barrett had some on his legs. Barbecue time. Yeah, so these are going up and then I want to get the uh, tri-tip down. Mimi just woke up from nap number two. We're having a lobster off. All the good stuff. Salt, pepper, and bacon. Our bodies are torn up from all the physical labor we have been enduring inside and outside of this home, and we love it. And now my memory slowly coming back. But in the end, this house will have totally evolved and morphed into a modern desert ranch style home, minus the ranch animals. You may see some moto trails, some creekside treehouse hideaways, an archery range, major gardening and permaculture, turntables spinning and poolside lounging. Catch our other dirt and sea adventures by subscribing to our channel.